lang po ano. And so we can start our discussion. Um, on the last discussion or on our last meeting, we have discussed the safety signages, um, the right colors of the signs being um, posted. So we have green, red color, um, yellow, blue, and um, we also discuss the different signs, like caution signs, the danger signs, the accidental tags, and so we have that discussed that last meeting. So for today's discussion, we will discuss we discuss about personal protective equipment. So we all know that there are a lot a lot of job requirements or job that requires personal protective equipment, and it depends upon the job requirements itself and if, if what personal protective equipment we will use so before we move forward to our discussion please answer first our pre-assessment and so i will give you five minutes to answer
Are you guys done? Tapos na po? Tapos na po ba lahat? Yes, ma'am. Yes po, ma'am. Ayan. So, let us check this right after the discussion. Pero feeling ko hindi kasi natin matatapos ngayon yung discussion. Medyo mahaba si presentation. So, maybe next meeting we will check this. Ano po? And our next meeting would be on November 8. Tama ba? 5, 6, 7. Yes, November 8. So, what is personal protective equipment? So, personal protective equipment, common deferred as PPE, is equipment worn to minimize exposure to hazards that cause serious workplace injuries and illness. These injuries and illnesses may result from contact with chemical, radiological, physical, electrical, mechanical, or other workplace hazards. Personal protective equipment may include items such as gloves, Safety glasses, shoes, earplugs, or muffs, hard hats, respirators, or coveralls, vest, and full body suits. So, yung sa personal protective equipment natin, alam na natin na may hazards. Ano, let's say, um, the hazard is being present on that certain workplace or on that certain area. So, kaya, kaya kailangan natin ng personal protective equipment is in order for us to minimize our exposure to those hazards or para hindi tayo maapektuhan ng mga hazards kahit na andun sila. Yan. So, it protects us from accidents. It protects us from um, the danger that may arise or may occur because of the potential harm and hazards. So, what can be done to ensure proper use of personal protective equipment? So, di ba, um, on our first discussion or on our first lesson, we have discussed there that na dapat si employer binibigyan ng training or ng um, seminar si worker regarding sa proper usage of the um, PPEs. And trabaho din ni employer na makinig um, na matutunan kung um, paano gamitin yung personal protective equipment nila. So, all personal protective equipment should be safely designed and constructed. So, nakalagay din doon, nakasaad din doon na dapat si personal protective equipment should be on um, proper fit, size, and shape based on who would wear the PPE. So, dapat Tasya dun sa workers. Kung may mataba kang workers, dapat meron kang size na pang mataba. Kung may size ka na pa, pang payat, dapat may size kang um, pang payat. So, it would differ on the body shapes of your worker. So, and should be maintained in a clean and reliable fashion. It should fit comfortably, encouraging worker use. So, if the personal protective equipment does not fit, properly, it can make the difference between being safely covered or dangerously exposed. So, when engineering, work practice, and administrative controls are not feasible or do not provide sufficient protection, employers must provide personal protective equipment to their workers and ensure its proper use. So, it, every time that there are hazards, it is the job of the employers to provide the PPE. So, dapat free siya for the workers. So, employers are also required to train each worker required to use personal protective equipment. Sabi nga natin, they are required to train every worker how should they use um, personal protective equipment. So, dapat pinapali na, pinapaliwanag natin sa kanila when it is necessary. When it is necessary to wear that PPE. 
So, what kind is necessary? Let's say, for example, um, dito sa, sa area na to, uh, on the certain place of the, let's say, workplace, you should put some gloves on. So, sa second demand, let's say, sa second room, dapat ganito, dapat ganyan. So, what kind is necessary? So, how to put it on, adjust, wear, and take it off. Dapat tinutulog din yan. So, the limitations of the equipment, hanggang saan ka lang um, kayang protektahan ng personal protective equipment mo. Proper care, maintenance, useful life, and disposable of the equipment. So, is it for life or it should be maintained? Or disposable ba siya? Kailangan itapon kada um, gamit. So, those are the um, information that should be taught on our employees. So, if PPE is to be used, a PPE program should be implemented. This program should address the hazards present, the selection, maintenance, and use of PPE, the training of employees, and monitoring of the program to ensure its ongoing effectiveness. So, the regulations, the degree of hazard, and the engineering or administrative controls that are in place will determine what PPE is needed. So, if departments will be using PPE for personnel hazards, the following items must be completed. So, it will depend upon what are the job to be done. Um, it differs on what certain protective equipment or personal protective equipment that they should use. So, we have here a checklist. So, select appropriate PPE. So, assess the workplace for hazards. Since you have assessed the workplace for hazards, you can select appropriate PPE. And number three, you have to ensure that the PPE is used. Number four, establish inspection, maintenance, and replacement procedures to make sure damaged PPE is not used. So, train employees in proper use, limitations, care, and maintenance of PPE. And lastly, document assessment, selection, and training. So, let us discuss about the personal protective equipment selection. So, for eye and face protection, we have here safety glasses, safety goggles, face eyewear, and other face shields and helmets provide a level of protection as designated by the manufacturer. The hazard and the protection standards for each piece of eye and face protection, PPE must consider during the selection. So, on the following um, slides, I'm going to show you what are the different eye and face protection. So, para sa ba si eye and face protection, it is to use or it is used to protect our eyes since of the exposure of hazards and also our face. So, next we have safety glasses. Um, for characteristics, we have polycarbonate lens and side shields. So, as you can see on the sides, it is still um, parang abot, ano? And the whole eyes would be um, covered, but not under. So, applications working with chemical, biological, radiation, and physical hazards. Next is the goggles. So, for goggles, we have three um, examples here. We have the first one, which is the direct vented. So, it allows the flow of air into the goggle protection from impact. So, as you can see here, the goggles or the direct vented, ayan, may mga buta siya dito. Vented siya, open siya sa air. For applications naman, um, working with particulates tends to fog less but should not be used with liquid or fine dust hazards. Next is the indirect vented. So, saan ba yung vented niya ito? Indirect vented because um, it is closed. But there's an air passing through that um, area, certain areas. 
So for applications, protection from particulates and from chemical splash. So okay lang din naman pala yung liquids na if you're using indirect vented. So for non-vented, meaning um, closed yan, closed to, closed to, closed to, closed to. Wala yung open area or non-vented talaga siya. It provides protection against the passage of dust, mist, liquid, and vapors. So for applications, protection for, from particulates, chemical splash and mist, liquids, and vapor. Next is the laser eyewear. Appropriately shaded, shaded siya, goggles, optical density based on the beam parameters. So for applications working with class 3 or class 4 layer, lasers, consult laser use authorization for specific application. So if you are near or working near lasers or working with a laser, then you can use this laser eyewear. Next is the disposable medical eye shield. So, sa eye lang siya, ano? Kasi medical eye shield provides protection from splash, spray, spatter, or droplets of blood or other potentially infectious materials. So, saan ba siya mostly ginagamit or applications niya is on the healthcare or biological hazards. Ayan o. Sa mat uh, pero, limited lang to sa eye, pero para siya new face shield na ginagamit natin. But hanggang ay lang siya. Next is face shield. Impact and chemical resistant face shield must be combined with safety glasses or goggles. For applications, ginagamit siya for use with potential chemical splash or projectiles, apparatus under pressure or vacuum cryogenics handling. So it would differ it is different from the face shields that we are using for biological hazard, which is COVID-19, right? Since ito parang medyo mahapal. Since ang gagamitan mo nga nito or paggagamitan mo if you are handling with chemicals. Next is the disposable medical face shield. So ito na yung mostly makikita natin and ginagamit natin. So characteristic provides protection from splash, spray patter, spatter or droplets of blood or other potentially infectious materials. So for applications, it is being used in the healthcare or with those places na may biological hazards. Next is the optical face shield. Um, for characteristic, face shield with special optical densi density, value for ultraviolet radiation or infrared shielding. So for applications working with UV or infrared emitting equipment. So if you are working on a certain workplace that is being exposed to UV or ultraviolet radiation, then you can use this face shield too in order for you to protect yourself from the ultraviolet radiation. Next is we have here the welder's goggles. So, on characteristic ni naman is impact resistant lenses and available in graduated shades of light filtration. So, meron yan, um light filtration dito. Ito. So, ibinababa yan. And pwede itaas in order for you to see clearly what you are doing. Then, if you're going to start the welding, then you can close it. To welding with potential sparking, scaling, harmful light, and rays. So, kung meron welders goggles, meron din welders helmet. So, this is the most common na nakikita natin. Ano? So, what is the characteristic? Durable helmet with filtered lens. Filtered siya. So, pwede din siyang ibaba dito. And then, yung filtered na lens. So, ensure proper shade number is chosen for darkness of the lens. So, for applications, ginagamit siya for welding to protect eyes and face against heat, peaks, flash burn, ultraviolet, or infrared light. So, as you can see, if you're going to use or magwe-welding ka, di ba meron yung parang sparks na naglilipad-lipad? Then that's, that can be, uh, pwedeng matansigan yung mukha mo. So, mas maganda pa rin gamitin itong si welder's helmet. Next, we have the arc created face shield. So, for characteristics, we have specialized electrical safety equipment for facial protection. 
Kung si Ari created facial, ginagamit siya on um, if you're going to work with electricity. Ayan. So for applications, electrical safety applications with higher hazards, risk, or unknown. Next is hand protection. So gloves should be selected for each procedure to provide protection from the hazard. In some circumstances, there may be several hazards and glove selection may involve in different gloves for different steps of the procedure. And or several layers of gloves may be needed to address all the hazards. So we have the first one, disposable gloves or thin gauge. We have three um, examples of disposable gloves here. We have the first one, which is disposable nit nitrile or nitrile gloves. Some chemical resistant, consult glove resistant chart, incidental chemical contact only. So if you are working with biological hazards and chemical hazards of small quantity. So, pag small quantity lang naman yung um, or chemical na um, ginagamit mo, then you can use this. So, guguro yung mga droplets, droplets lang ng chemical. Next is the vinyl gloves or disposable vinyl gloves, economical and thin. So, working with biological hazards and not for chemical handling. So, bakit hindi siya pwede sa chemical handling? As you can see, it's very manifest. Nakikita na yung um, flesh or the color of the hands of the um, person na nagsusuot. Ayan. Next is the latex gloves. So, some chemical resistant consult glove resistant chart incidental chemical contact only. So, working with biological hazard known or potentially infectious materials including work with animals. So, as you can see here, no? Medyo ito yung parang nakikita talaga natin. So, pwede siyang mabili sa or can be bought. It can be bought on, let's say, mercury drugs. Ayan. Makakita tayo ng gantong gloves. Next, we have leather gloves. So, for the, its characteristics, it protect and comfort hands from moderate temperatures, sharp objects, damage by friction. So, saan ba siya mostly ginagamit? When you are handling sharp objects and metal for field work and welding. Next is the wire mesh gloves. So, ang characteristics niya is cut resistance. So, kahit ano mo siya, ikat-cut, hindi siya ma-cut. So, for applications, working with sharp instruments or live animals. Next is the chemical resistant gloves. So, for characteristics, we have ata three examples ng chemical resistant gloves. So, for applications, we have working with small volumes of aqueous-based low-hazard chemicals. So, it is a good resistance to biological or water-based materials for organic solvent-resistant, consult glove resistant chart. Next, we have nitrile gloves, chemical resistance to many chemicals, consult glove resistant chart for applications working with larger volumes of chemicals. Ayan, so, yung una, um, low hazard chemicals pa or small volumes. For the um, nitria, nitrile gloves, we have larger volumes of chemicals. Next is the butyl gloves. Generally, good chemical resistance to many chemicals. Consult the resistance chart. So, ginagamit din siya sa larger volumes of chemicals and hazardous material spills. So, next we have Viton gloves, generally good chemical resistance to many chemicals, consult, consult glove resistant char. So, 
working with larger volumes and chemicals, hazardous materials spill. So, um, for larger volumes then, and hazardous na chemicals. Next, we have sil marami pala sila ano, sa chemical resistance club. So, next we have silver shield gloves, generally good chemical resistance to many chemicals. Consult glove resistance chart may need over glove for manual dexterity. So, for applications, working with larger volumes of chemicals, hazardous materials, fills, good resistance to methylene chloride. Next, we have insulated gloves. So, for characteristics, we have terry cloth autoclave gloves or heat resistant for applications working with hot equipment. Next, we have insulated gloves. For characteristics, we have flame-resistant gloves and glove liners. So, heat-resistant due to fabric construction and properties. So, some typical materials include Nomex and leather, Nomex, Lycra blend, raw VESD carbon filament, and acrylic rayon meat. Gloves may be referred to as flight gloves. So, insulated na glove siya. So, applications niya, some... Flame resistant siya ano flame resistant gloves. So for application, some pyrophoric handling liners can be worn under chemical resistant. Flight gloves can be worn over chemical resistant gloves. Consult for OHS for the best effort glove for your needs and materials. Next, for insulated gloves again, we have cryogen gloves, water resistant protection against ultra cold temperature. So, for applications, we have cryogenics handling. Next, we have skin and body protection. So, we have labor laboratory coats, scrubs, uniforms, and disposable body coverings provide a level of protection from splash hazards, special hazards, and material qualities such as flame resistant, specific chemical resistance, Physical strength, let's say for example leather and visibility, should be considered when selecting PPE for skin and body protection. Next, we have disposable sleeves. For characteristics, we have disposable clothing and skin protection. Protection from particulates. Um, some sleeve material are coated for chemical resistance. So as you can see here, on the disposable sleeves, sleeves lang talaga siya, ano? mostly hanggang um, the, uh, from this area, no? sa hand, hindi naman siya over the hand, or all over the hand, but yan, dito, hanggang sa siko siguro, si disposable sleeves. So, ginagamit siya working with particulates or com potent compounds. Next is the disposable gowns. For characteristics, we have clothing and skin protection manufactured from variety of materials depending upon needed application. So for applications, we have working with biohazards and animals. Next, we have scrubs. Characteristic provides a layer of protection for skin and or clothing from contact with biological and chemical fluids. For application, working in clinical, medical, and surgical setting as needed. So, scrubs, nakikita na rin siyang um, suot talaga ng mga nurses, ng um, all the workers from medical or healthcare workers. Pero ngayon, hindi na masyadong ginagamit si scrubs. Or let's say they are using scrubs, but under and the, um, ito, coveralls. Ngayon, ginagamit ng mga medical workers because of the pandemic. Yan. For characteristic, clothing and skin protection, tear-resistant protection from, particul from particulates. Some TVEC clothing is coated for chemical resistance. Applications working with biohazards, chemical, animals, or airborne particulates. Yan. So, we all, we all assumed kasi na airborne particulates si, ano, ano, si COVID-19. Since the um, let's say the fumes na lumalabas sa bibig, it can um, cause you already the 
or pass you already the virus. Next is the safety or visibility. Yes. So, ano ba ang most nakikita natin na may suot nito? Traffic enforcers, um, people on the construction sites. So, for uh, the characteristic niya is colorful and reflective. So, meron itong orange, meron yellow. So, for applications, construction sites, traffic hazard areas, emergency response. Next is cooling vest. For characteristics, we have compartments contain chemical coolant and can be heavy. For applications, we have hot environment. So, meron siyang cooling um, chemical coolant, which you can see here. Ano? So, that it can be used for extreme hot, hot environments. Next is love coats. Ayan. For knee length, um, characteristics niya is it is made of cotton. Or cotton siya, protects skin from clothing, from dirt, inks, and non-hazardous chemicals, biohazards with aerosol exposure. For application, protects skin and clothing from dirt, inks, and non-hazardous chemicals, biohazards without aerosol exposure. Sa lab coats, we have here another um, example, which is the barrier. So, as you can see, no, the first one, yung cotton, hindi siya closed dito. But si barrier closed siya or tight neck um, clothing or lab coats. Yeah. So, does not permit blood or other potentially infectious materials to pass through due to three-layer construction. So, three-layer daw po si barrier. So, applications does not permit blood or other potentially infectious material to pass through. So, siguro ginagamit siya or applications na is used if you are working with blood extraction, ganyan sa, let's say, animals or sa tao. Next is the flame resistant, flame resistant, nomex or flame resistant cotton. For applications, working with water or air reactive chemicals, flammable solvents, potentially exclusive chemicals. Siguro for those who are handling, let's, let's say, for example, chemical engineers, um, scientists that's um, working with flammable or reactive water and air, they can use this lab coats or flame-resistant lab coats. Next, we also have another example, flame-resistant, no mix or flame-resistant cotton for applications Working with water or air reactive chemicals, flammable solvents, potentially explosive chemicals, welding or electrical systems. For applications, working with water or air reactive chemicals, flammable solvents, potentially explosive chemicals, welding or electrical systems. And so, if you're working with electricity and chemicals, you can use this. And also, welding. Ano. Next, we have reflective coating. So, flame and heat resistant, aluminized, flame resistant material working with hot environments and welding. So, you can use this reflective coating. Next is leather apron, jackets, coveralls, and sleeves. So, characteristic niya is leather siya or made of leather. So, for applications, we have welding or other shop work with potential sparks or projectiles. Next is aprons. So, characteristic flame resistant. For applications, working with flammable solvents, welding, or electrical systems. Yan. So, pwede din naman pala gumamit ng aprons. Next, we have rubber. Coated siya, wash apron, chemical splash protection since it's rubber nga, and good abrasion resistance. For application, working with apparatus under pressure, splash potential of hazardous liquids. 
Next, we have neoprene, apron, and sleeves. Chemical resistant, peer resistant, splash protection. For applications, it is or can be used for working with apparatus under pressure. Yan, para. Splash and potential hazardous liquid. So, same lang po sila ni um, rubber. Ang pinagkakaiba lang nila is the characteristic itself. Next is we have respiratory protection. Respiratory protection. So, mostly or very common na ginagamit natin ito ngayon. Ano? The respiratory protection. So, like, set for example, mask. In order for us not to be exposed to any viruses. Yan. In a laboratory, airborne contaminants are kept very low through adequate general room ventilation and by working with open containers or volatile materials inside a chemical fume hood or enclosure designed to effectively capture air contaminants at the source. So when airborne contaminants cannot be adequately controlled by engineered exhaust ventilation, respiratory protection may be needed. So the use of respiratory protection has very stringent regulatory requirements. So hindi lang um, the PPE or the protection for respiratory ang ginagamit, but also the room or the workplace should be room ventilated in order for them to control the hazard. Ayan, we have number one, we have cloth mask. So, ito yung pinakaunang ginagamit natin dati, ano, nung hindi pa tayo gumagamit ng surgical mask or N95. Ayan. So, for cloth mask, not a respirator, surgical or procedure mask. So, does not require fit testing, may protect persons nearby from wearers, respiratory emissions like speaking, cough, coughing, and sneezing. So, for applications, infection control in office areas and public environments. Ayan. So, limited lang si, ano niya, no? Um, since uh, it is protecting you from this emission, speaking, coughing, coughing and um, sneezing. Next is surgical procedure mask. Not a respirator. Does not require fit testing. Protects the wearer against large droplets, splash, and or aerosols. So, it protects person nearby from the wearer's respiratory emissions. Like, for example, speaking, coughing, and sneezing. So, parehas lang din po sila. Ano? Next, infection control working in clinical setting, working with live animal or potentially infectious materials. So, next we have dust mask. Hindi din siya also respirator. It may protect against dust, fume, mist, or microorganisms, including animal allergens, does not require fit testing. So, siguro, um, like said, for example, nagsabog si Mayon, nagsabog si um, Paal. So, ano ba ang dapat pwede natin gamitin? We can wear dust mask. So, for applications, ginagamit natin siya sa dusty environments or working with live animals or potentially infectious materials. Next, we have N95 respirator. So, respirator picture has an exhalation valve option that reduces exhalation resistance, which makes it easier to breathe. Exhale also may keep face cooler and reduce moisture buildup inside the face piece. So, it protects us against dust, fumes, mist, microorganisms, including animal allergens. So, pwede din siyang gamitin sa dusty environments, working with live animals, or potentially infectious materials. So, next we have healthcare surgical and 95 respirator. So, we have two um, specific type, which is the flat fold and knee molded. So, certified as surgical mask meets fluid resistance standards, reduces particles both inhaled and expelled by the wearer. So, exhalation valves are not installed in healthcare N95 respirators since the valves does not filter and exhale direct. So, close lang talaga po si um, N95 respirator or si healthcare surgical. 
So, ginagamit siya during surgery and other tasks when both wear requires respiration, respiratory protection and expelled um, particulates must be contained or fluid resistant is required. Next is the N99 and N100. N100 rated filtration efficiency for disposable respirator. So N99 respirators filter at least 99% of airborne particles. N100 respirators filter at least 99.97 of airborne particles. They are not resistant to oil. So N100 for solid particulates and liquid mist in concentration not exceeding 10 times delayed arsenic and cadmium. So it protects us from um, different um, toxics of the chemicals. Ayan, for R95, R95, AG, R95, OB respirators. Ayan, ginagamit naman siya to protect against liquid or oil-based particles from sprays that do not also emit vapors. So, yung R95, AG naman protects us against nuisance levels of acid gases. Ang R95 OV, carbon layer to reduce nuisance, nuisance orders from organic vapors. Ayan. So, somewhat oily environments, processes that may emit gases. And it is being used for workshop orders from painting dust. Next is we have P95, P95 AG, P95 OG, and P100 respirators. So, ginagamit din siya, same lang po, certain oil and non-oil-based aerosol particles. So, if you are working with petrochemicals, pharmaceuticals, dusty, oily environments, you can use this um, specific types of respirators. Yeah, next we have the cartridge respirator. We have the half face and full face air purifying. So, sa half face, it protects against variety of particulates, vapors, dust, mist, fumes, or combination of this depends on the filter or cartridge being used. For application, dust the environment, potential infectious materials, chemical vapors, particulates, and select gases or cartridge dependent. So, sa full face air purifying, it is similar to half face but with greater protection factor and greater protection of eyes and face. And depends on filter or cartridge use. So, ginagamit sa applications for dusty environments, potentially infectious materials, chemical vapors, particulates, and select gases or cartridge dependent. So, next we have the powered air purifying respirator. So, powered air purifying respiratory sir, delivers steady supply of filtered air with loose fitting hood. So, yan, uh, may pinanggagalingan nung um, air that can be, that is being filtered. Or be, being filtered ba siya, filtered siya, may nagpi-filter ng air. And can be used with the HEPA filters or chemical cartridges. So, working in some environments with high levels of chemicals, vapor, particulates for person with facial hair. Yeah, so the powered air purifying, meron pa tayong is ibang klase. Um, it is used naman for welders, selection of shades. So, welding in low ventilation areas, tap welding, or exposed in plasma or grinding. Next is self-contained breathing apparatus. Book limited operation time, highly protective, mostly used by emergency response personnel. So, meron na siyang um, breathing apparatus, apparatus na kasama. So, saan ba siya mostly makikita? Um, respondents from fire emergencies, we, they have this kind of apparatuses. So, use in oxygen deficient atmosphere, immediately dangerous to life or health, or areas of high concentration of unknown or airborne contaminants. So, nakikita rin natin to if, let's say for example, an explosion of nuclear chemicals, then they got they have to use self-contained breathing apparatuses. 
um, the bench up shields and the other um, protection or PPE protection would be um, discussed on the next meeting since in oras na it's already 11.57. Ayan. And also the pre-assessment, we will check that after our um, lesson. Yeah, so I will see you guys on November 8th. But before that, may I request everyone to please um, turn on your camera. My question po ba kayo? My question? Regarding sa different PPEs? Ayan, wala naman. Wala po naman po, ma'am. Wala naman po. Ayan, so may I request everyone to please turn on your 